traditional scene setter for the Green Machine and a member of that team now is Chevy Stewart, the 18-year-old. NRL game number one out of the Colonel Stingrays. A Cronulla junior, he followed his good mate Ethan Strange to Canberra. 120 family and friends at GIO Stadium to cheer him on, Steve. Well, how big is it to make your NRL debut now? It used to be if it was a state of origin or a test match. But people out to watch him here today, as you said, 120. He'll feel quite comfortable too. In his position, Timoko, Schiller, Strange, Savage. 845 metres they ran from the back of the field last week. Looking forward to this play too. Watch his left foot step off the left foot. Very dangerous run of the football, Strange. Strange and Stewart, teenagers. We kick off to complete round six at the Telstra Premiership, and it's Josh Papaliki with the first carry. The forward provided a great platform last week. The back line, dynamic. And Zach Hosking, one of the returning players tonight for Canberra. Chevy Stewart on debut. Trey Mooney, his first game of the season. So there are the changes from last week. Three of them for coach Ricky Stewart. Hudson Young, big, really good numbers against Parramatta a week ago. The captain. And here's the first carry, an early touch for Semi Stewart. He's bent over backwards by Furmore. And now Fogarty goes high. Picking across the ground, it's collected by Lofi Khan Pereira. One of the men called in by Des Hasler. Canberra navigate the first set and give their debutante a touch. Yeah, well, that, that, that was a good defensive set there, straight away from the Titans. Got off their line, put uh, put pressure on. Apart from the kick, they only made it up over the 30-metre line. Good start from the Titans defensively, but they've got to do it for 80. Here's Jamin Jolliffe with a carry for Gold Coast. They crave better possession, the Titans, as Isaac Liu tips it on for Mo Fodawaker. They're yet to dominate position in any game they've played this season. AJ Brimson wearing four but playing in that 5 8 role. And here's the kick from the halfback tonight, Kieran Foran. A tester early on for Chevy Stewart, who climbs above them over the top of Brian Kelly and makes his first catch. Well, that's going to settle the nerves too there for young Stewart at the back there. It's a beautiful take. He was under all sorts of pressure. A couple of chases coming down. It's a beautiful take, left the ground. And the Raiders working up over there, 20. We saw Jai Gray collect a testing kick early last night when he made his debut for South Sydney. So too that man on screen, Chevy Stewart. This man's in his first year of NRL and impressing. Morgan Smithies out of Wigan. He debuted as a teenager for Wigan in the Super League. Fogarty. The 30-year-old veteran of this back line, a torpedo bomb high above GIO Stadium. They let it bounce. Jaden Campbell back into his in goal, and he's pinned there. Well, I've got to say, what about that for a kick there from Fogarty? But always first down on the chase. Gee's been a fine for the Canberra Raiders. Hosking is the first man down there. Watch this. Allowed the ball to bounce. It must have just dropped at the last Jayden. 10 metres before it hit the ground. And look at that, Hosking, right up there. He's been a fine for the Canberra Raiders. Their first line drop out now, they're forced. And they found him at the Gold Coast. He was a Titans under-20s player, spent three years of NRL at Gold Coast. And since he arrived at Canberra, has enjoyed working with Ricky Stewart. The short goal line dropout from the Titans. Schiller comes forward. He couldn't get a jump at the ball. And the Titans knock it back to keep possession. Yeah, Furmore, it is a dies on that loose ball. We see a lot of players now trying to knock the ball back at work that time. Here's Huss. They've spread the ball early in the tackle count for Titans. Jojo for Fita. As we say good evening to Eloise Sawyer sideline. Eloise, it's not just about the players on the field. The coaching matchup tonight is intriguing. Yes, good evening, gentlemen, and hello to everyone at home. It is intriguing indeed, Maddie. The Raiders have won eight of their past nine against the Titans. But Gold Coast coach Des Hasler has his best record and most wins against Ricky Stewart. And with his side looking for their first win of 2024, it sets up a cracking game as Chevy Stewart takes another one out of the high ball. He looks good under those kicks so far. Two from two, Eloise, thank you. We've got the fifth 
and sixth most capped coaches in Premiership history in the opposing boxes this evening, Steve. Yeah, they've been unbelievable, haven't they? they had their ups and downs, obviously. Ricky Stewart on top at the moment. And the Raiders playing some great football. Gee, I love watching them play. Spread the football well. It's been a good start defensively. There's the first penalty. Inside, well, just the lift of the leg there. Yeah, can't do it anymore. Pass it is that comes away with the penalty. And that is a relieving one. They've been under a little bit of pressure early in this game. The Canberra Raiders coming off their own line. This will relieve the pressure. Des Hasler told his team to, to bring the baseball bats. They need it against a team in attacking confidence on their home deck. And of course, Des Hasler's men still hunting their first win of the season. Hunting more possession, more points. And a long way to go. And it would start with a win in Canberra, ideally for them. Here's Tarpany. It's held by Chris Randall before yeah, the just, forward reinforcements arrive, Steve. Yeah, just watch Chris Randall with his defence. Normally plays hooker, can play in the back row too at lock forward. I mean, he just gets up. He's got a wonderful technique. That was a great tackle to start that set. You've got to try and upset the first couple of rucks. They've done that so far. Bogarty tipped on by Stewart, but he's tipped it straight there for Lofty Khan Pereira. The fullback retrieves the loose ball, and they cut a break, Canberra. So just to bounce away from Khan Pereira that time, how do you pick that up? That would have been a wonderful race to the, to the try line there for the Titans. Not lacking confidence, young Chevy Stewart, as Canberra find good position here. Morgan Smithies takes a tackle from Randall. Levi trying to score his fifth try of the season, Danny Levi. The offload from Tarpani to Papali'i. Joloff goes low, Liu up high. Here's Ethan Strange, dummy! Good tackle, Cleese Haas. Riding him into the grass, assisted by Forens. Out of dummy half. No way through for the Raiders. Yeah, it's a waste of play there. It was Hudson Young taking a chance. Fogarty measures this kick. A mid-range bomb and down with it, AJ Brimson in the air. Ah, beautiful take. A little bit of desperation's at the back end of the field there for the Titans. Brimson with a pearl. Bo Furmore, you heard the, the clash physically as the defence closed in. Khan Pereira missed the North Queensland game last week. The Titans were beaten by the Cowboys, they did improve. Back to Des Hasler this week, he said, I'm confident we're not far off from that, that heartening performance against North Queensland helped the coach say that. They trailed 16-0, they were going to get blown away, but they fought back. There's four kicks from inside his 40. High down the eastern sideline, Chevy Stewart in position, and Xavier Savage. Man who had his eyes on the fullback role in his early years at Canberra. Actually suggesting that he play on a fringe. So Fogarty at dummy half going for Hosky. She's been a quality game to start. Both sides at 100% possession. No mistakes so far. Now Timokov is tackle busting centre. He had nine tackle busts last week. His career high 11 and Tarpany takes the direct route. The offload again from the captain. It goes through Levi, Hudson Young, a set restart in all of that. And momentum is swinging towards the team in green. They've scored 23 tries so far this season. The Titans only eight. 23 eight on the try scoring front. The Gold Coast with one fewer game though as Papali'i makes contact and continues to go forward. That was only tackle three, strange short side. Hudson Young said Chris gets the ball away, no room. One pass too many for Xavier Savage and they'll give the ball to Gold Coast. Well Zeps, Chris should have taken the tackle there. Just squeeze the ball out there to Savage. He had no room to work in. Too easy a tackle, forced into touch. That's the first error there. They want a bit of resolve. The Titans, they've got it early in this game so far. They had numbers around the football that time. They tried to squeeze the pass out the Raiders. And they're forced into touch. 
So Jamin Jolliffe has gone on report for that shoulder contact to the head of Zach Hosking. Now Zach returns tonight having missed the Parramatta win for Canberra because of HIA protocols. Possession heavily in favour with Canberra already. They've dominated the ball in four of their five games so far. Isaac yeah, had to reach for the pass. He raised 250 NRL games earlier in the season. Isaac, this is game 50 at the Titans, the Premiership winning rooster. He's barely missed since heading to the Gold Coast. Fodawaka. Ridden into the ground by Ethan Strange. So nearly 10 minutes gone, scoreless in Canberra, Kieran Four and kicking. And Chevy Stewart makes the catch and shows no fear as he ploughs into Joloff and Isaac Liu. Police Haas there as well. Yeah, Jim, they've been good early, hasn't he? Packer Lee here and also Tarpany. He's got a couple of offloads early in this game. And time will tell. They really have a little bit of a flat spot when those two players go off, so been a good start from the Titans defensively. Holding their own at the moment. This man, James Schiller, singled out this week by Stewart's mum, Emma, as she delivered the speech at the jersey presentation. James Schiller, Ethan Strange, really helping their young fullback transition from Sydney to Canberra. Now, Tarpany. Jotloff getting through plenty of defensive work. Fogarty, he's had a good kicking season so far. He just hangs this one up. A conventional bomb that isn't taken. Hosking has the ball reefed from his possession. A try saver, Brian Kelly. Oh, that's unbelievable play there. Kelly comes away with the football. Hosking had the first grab at the footy. And a one on one steal. Pereira was in all sorts of trouble taking that ball on the full. Kelly stays in field. So if you're looking at the lineup of this Gold Coast team compared to the lineup listed earlier in the week, you'll notice many changes. Jojo for feet of the carry here. Harley Smith shields into the centres. AJ Brimson 5'8, four and half back, and a penalty goes to the Titans. And Lofi Khan Pereira coming into the back line in Jersey 22. And Strange just saying, who, me? Might have had it laid on a little bit too long there, just trying to slow the play the ball down. Can't wait to big Fafita gets on. David Fafita, they need him with those damaging runs. Yeah. Are you surprised they're bringing him in off the bench? Yeah, if he's fit enough, I would have started with him. But anyway, we know what the Canberra Raiders do. They come right through the middle. I would have started trying to get him to bust a few tackles, but won't be long before he's on. Third game back from... A peck injury. He played the 80 minutes last week, Bo Thurmore puts it down. Well, that's exactly what the Canberra Raiders have waited for. The mistake from the Titans should have swallowed that one Thurmore. Just as they were starting to build to something. I'd like the way they've moved the ball around early in this game, the Titans. That time, the knock-on from Thurmore just snatched at the ball. And this is where the Raiders, so far this season, have made teams pay when they make mistakes. They were five from five on the completion front before that error, but nearly 70% of the ball has been with Canberra. They're inviting trouble, the Titans, unless they can balance that possession stat. Matt Timical, again, giving us a glimpse of his strength. Look at that three in the tackle. He just continues to move. He's not a big man, but he's so, so strong. Hosking hit and spin away from Liu. The bench featuring Trey Mooney in his first NRL game this season. Adam Ariota, another youngster there. Papa Lee, here's the six again sound. And the crowd makes some more noise. We're going to get on the back of that run from Papa Lee. And again, back to back set restarts. Levi to Smithies. Strange. A stutter step away from a cut Randall, and now Ethan Strange hits the line. Thurmore and Brimson shut him down. Tarpany.
Watch out for Big Papa, close to the line here. Well, he's the decoy runner. Fogarty, long. Here's said Chris. Chris, Chris, still going, said Chris. Can he reach out? He's still striving for the in goal. There were four tights there in the end. The mousetrap play. And Savage is held up. Oh, well done there. That's Randall underneath for the tackle. The mousetrap, haven't seen that for a while. <laughs> Been brought back. Savage looked like he was going to duck under. Harson Vavel bowled in the tackle. Just couldn't get the football down. Block, I think we need to praise Gold Coast's goal line defence. Seb Chris asked plenty of challenges. Then Savage is held up. Final play now from the Fogarty boots. In the air, Hosking can't make the catch. Kelly comes down with it. And Gold Coast hang on again. There's been a big couple of plays there for Brian Kelly. First to steal when they're under pressure. And that time a great take. They're up for it tonight, the Titans. Campbell. Jaden is carried backwards by Smithies. Look at the tackled in the opposition 20 stat. 9-0 in favour of Canberra. Fantastic carry from the Queensland origin forward. Now in his seventh season at the Titans. For him, high and long. Stewart under no pressure. And last year's New South Wales Origin under 19s player gets back beyond his 20 metre line. Schiller appeals for obstruction there. Missy Badger having none of it. Fogarty through Strange. Savage. To Hudson Young. You know, you take Jamal Fogarty out of his back line, the average age is 21 years of age. Unbelievable. And they've found them all at once. This Savage. Gee, I'll tell you what, he takes some tough carries now. A couple of years ago, Ricky Stewart left him on the field injured just to see if he could tough it out. He's a lot tougher than what he was. And we asked Ricky, what was Xavier's problem? One word answer youth. <laughs> he hardened him up. As Fogarty goes high, as high as he can, Jaden Campbell goes high. Good footy from kick up and catcher. Nice nice Jojo for Fita. You hear the Canberra defenders willing each other up quickly. Okay. Ooh, abruptly stopped Papali'i, or Tapani it was, on Khan Pereira. Jaden Campbell. Pereira is just a little bit slow to get back out to that wing. I reckon he lifted the shirt and counted his ribs there. That was a great shot. In number two, it's the former Raider, Harley Smith Shields, playing in the centres, remember? Foran's kick. Down to Stewart again, whose placement has been spot on. And his returns have been fearless. And he's, yeah, he's courageous, don't worry about that. That was a good run. His kick return. The kick chase a little bit slow that time from the Titans. They might start to get a little bit tired now. Seb Chris. Fogarty could see Kelly coming up quickly. Now he lobs the ball for Hosking. What a buy he's been for the Raiders after his stint at Penrith. Such a big role in last year's Premiership campaign. Help! Help! And in boot at Brisbane and out of Newcastle. That's the Zach Hosking story. Is Papali'i goes to Tarpani, the extra pass for Strange and the veteran. Four and drives Strange backwards. Fogarty again, his kick out towards the wing where Schiller is above the ball. And James Schiller opens the scoring. He has a great knack of finding his way to the line and James Schiller Gets Green going first. But Fogarty's kick and game is pinpoint accurate. That's a beautiful kick. It's been well all season. Not only the big bombs, but the way that he can place the ball in the Harvey Norman replay here. There's the bomb. Look at the chase. Schiller out jumps. Well, he out jumps the centre three quarter. Kelly has been good under the high ball so far. And the Canberra Raiders have broken the shackles. Maybe we'll see some real attack at football now that they've got the first try. 
James Schiller trained all pre-season and through the trials as a centre. He's being used on a wing because young Albert Hopawati had that bad burn to his arm in a, in a barbecuing accident. So James Schiller comes on to the wing as required and delivers last weekend a career best game. The numbers were outstanding. And uh, he's enjoying his time, the young Yabby in the NRL. He's a tall winger too, he competes for everything. We've seen him finish off a lot of tries this season so far for the Canberra Raiders. This time he does it on his own, on the back of the boot of this guy. Jamal Fogarty, beautiful pinpoint kick. And the Raiders are the first to get away. Schiller, he scored in every NRL game he's played this season, the three of them. Two against Cronulla, one against the Eels last week. Over again first tonight. And it's Canberra 6-0 over Gold Coast. Steve, I mentioned the way Canberra had been dominating possession in their games and Gold Coast had been lacking in that regard. The stats are reading the same way tonight and that's why Canberra have been able to build this pressure. Well, we haven't really seen them broken in any sort of open play yet and starting to shift the football around. It's been Papa Leahy, uh, you know, and also their forwards just going straight down the middle so far. I reckon the game might open up a little bit now from the Raiders. Just in our old game 13 for James Schiller, the 22-year-old. Part of this young, willing, exciting backline playing behind and enjoying being behind the veteran Josh Papa Leahy. Not to mention Tarpany and, and Morgan Smithies, that middle forward rotation. I tell you what, it gives you a bit of a buzz when you're aging in the front row and you, you get a couple of young blokes come along and really lift the enthusiasm. What a start to the game. Papa Lee, Tarpany leading the way at the moment. Hosking couldn't hang on to the ball. There were calls for it being a forward pass anyway. It would have been interesting to see if Hosking held that ball. Yeah, I don't mind that drop ball there. At least he put himself in a position there at speed in the hole short ball there straight away i think he might have beaten the tackle of kelly there but he won't drop his head he'll be getting he'll get straight on with it hosky it was mentioned a couple of times he's been a big fine he's big for feeder on the sideline revving up get him out there why the weight it's a tackle breaker and he played that 80 minute game last week Delivered impressive numbers. And now the play the ball. There's a big question mark on it. It's rule error, Gold Coast. Oh, Des. Des. Where are we going? Yeah, it's just fundamentals, isn't it? Jojo for feet up. Indiscretion in the play the ball. The Raiders' foot might have been here. I oh, know. It's an ordinary play the ball. You can't bluff about that. Hudson Young just trying to get around the front to mark up. That's a terrible error. You mentioned that matchup with Ricky and just underlining that statistic that Eloise gave us. Dez has beaten Ricky in 19 of their 25 meetings. Both approaching 500 NRL games coached after, of course, long and decorated playing careers as well. Great servants. Premiership Rugby League. Smithies winds up. Gee, must be a hard man to put on the ground, Smithies. Look at him. Stands in tackles every time. Had a knack of finding good Englishmen, the Raiders in recent years, as Papa Lee gets the ball away. Fogarty second phase. Levi to Chevy Stewart, dummies, and takes the line on. Jolliffe makes the stop. Helped by Brimson. Final play now for Canberra. Attacking from close range, the kick across the ground. It's out towards Chris, and it falls for Foran. Gee, only the one try so far for the Canberra Raiders. They've been peppering the back three there. This time on the other side. Here's Fafita coming into the ground now, a double interchange by the look of it, Aaron Clark on the field too. There's some heavy contact. That was Harley Smith Shields 
wearing a shot from Hudson Young. Now Kelly. Direct from Aaron Clark, who spent time at Canberra way back when. For it. With kicking duties again. It's taken by Stewart and Xavier Savage loops around Steve. Well, here was perfect position there for a 40-20. It was a chase by Danny Levi. Here we go. Oh no. Had already caught held when you were getting chased by back. Danny Levi to put on, the Xavier. pressure on for him. Basami Solo, so impressive last week. He really caught your eye, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, didn't he? Roll the sleeves up last week. I was talking about the interchange when they make their first interchange. And he really came on. They didn't miss a beat, the Raiders. Let's see what he can do tonight. Went close to his first NRL try in game 54 last week. He's on a, a long wait. Pasami Solo. As Levi goes to Tarpany. Just hunting in behind the ruck. This is ominous go forward from Canberra. Fogarty, high. Again, it's out towards Lofi Khan Pereira. Hosking has the loose ball. Zach just short of the line. It was touched by the Titans. A great result for the Green Machine. Solo trying to pull away from Aaron Clark. He just got him caught flat footed there, Solo. That's how close he is to career try number one. Levi, Smithies, here's Fogarty. Chris under pressure. Fafita races up and makes enough contact to shut it down. Ethan Strange out of dummy half. Levi to Fogarty and Tuppany. Now he accelerates at the defensive line. Get with him, he'll offload the ball. He thought about it. Genius at turning in tackles and offloading. Still two plays left, short side. The kick from Levi was that played at. A set restart for the Raiders. What a result. And now Hudson Young goes close. Gee, they've been over the line a few times here. Gold Coast defending their line grimly for the first 26 minutes in this game, it seems. Now Smithies. Stopped by Aaron Clark. They must be tiring. Fogarty. Now Strange. Here's the run. Hudson Young skids onto the goal line. And this try scoring edge forward goes in again. Yeah, dangerous back on the inside. The great thing that Hudson done here was he didn't try to advance the football. Momentum took him over. The drop off play hits the, hits the ball at speed. It was only a matter of time. They just couldn't hang on. There's Strange dropping the ball back on the inside. Foran can't make the tackle. Hudson Young, good enough to score for the Raiders. They go back to back. Had a rough start to his career, Hudson Young. A few controversies, but since then, he's gone on to, to win the support of his coach so much. He's won the Canberra Coaches Award. He's represented New South Wales. They've extended him out until the end of 2027, and his form in recent years Shows us why. Yeah, he's a powerful running back rower, isn't he? Especially cutting back on the inside like that. They mix their game up so well, the Raiders. And at the left-hand side, cuts back in Hudson Young. And scores again, starting to look, look a little bit tired around the middle, aren't they? They've done a lot of defence, the Gold Coast Titans. The scoreboard might start to tick over now before half-time. Hudson Young, six games this season, three tries. Gets over in back-to-back -back games. Last week he had the most run metres by a Canberra forward. Well, that's a big thing too. The, the missed tackles are starting to mount now for the Titans. They've already missed 12. And they've averaged missing 40 per game. So starting to drop off a little bit now with the pace of the game. Canberra doing what plenty predicted at least so far. It is 12-0, Raiders over Titans, sideline, Eloise Sawyer.
Yes, that is his third try against the Titans in the last two seasons. Hudson Young said that the forward pack come, had to come together in the offseason. They recognise that they need to step up this year and take the pressure off the outside backs. And he's done exactly that, going over for the Raiders' second try. His actions backing up his words, Eloise, exactly. His scoreline still very much within reach, obviously, of the Titans. But last year, block, Canberra couldn't win by more than 12 points all season. Their three wins this year by 16, by 20, by 33. And here they are out by double figures again. Well, just you can put it down to the young outside backs, can't you? Schiller has already got a try. Timoko, Strange, Savage, those sort of guys. It's amazing when you bring a bit of youth into your football side, how it can turn around. They've done exactly that with the Raiders. Win this game, Canberra will go to third with the best differential in the league. Last year, their differential was minus 100 plus. Stewart. Morgan Smith is giving Kasami Solo another gallop. There's some depth on show in Canberra this year. As Fogarty. Ops for his preferred side tonight. It's out towards this western sideline. And again, Lofi Khan Pereira comes down with it. Yeah, lucky there wasn't a little bit of a bobble there. And another take. Gee, they've been peppered, haven't they? They're back three so far in this game. And now it's been relentless. Hard yard, Steve. This is another member of that back three you mentioned, Jojo Fafita. Jake Campbell Smith Shields. In for a run. Hartley played three years of NRL at Canberra before being linked with Para and ending up at Gold Coast. You can understand why some backs get squeezed out when you see the talent emerging in the capital. Now, Campbell, high, didn't get it as he would have liked. But it might be a bit awkward. Oh, it's easy. It's not awkward at all for Xavier Savage. No, look, Sheldon, please. <laughs> The chase not as strong as it's been early in the game here from the Titans. Savage takes it beautifully. They want another one, another try before half time here, Canberra. They're hungry for it. The speed of the game. They're twice as quick as the Titans. As we approach the half hour mark, Canberra completing 17 of 19. Gold Coast, 9 of 12. Levi. Here's Fogarty. Thought about the inside ball. Stewart was there. I've seen Stewart run onto that play in New South Wales Cup and race 80 metres. Now the kick from Strange. Giving it plenty of air and Fafita comes down with it. We haven't really seen the, the Titans in an attacking zone, has it? It's been the whole half. They've been working off their line. Done a pretty good job. It's only 12 nil. They've got to somehow find their way down there. Here's for feeder. Tackled in the opposition half, Steve. 43-6. Well, they've done well to keep the score on at 12-0. Should be a goal over a lot more than that. Tackled in the opposition 20, 19 nil. Yeah, will it tell a tale in the second half, but for the Titans. It's been the tale of Gold Coast's season so far. As this kick trickles away from Stewart. The youngest Canberra debutant since Nick Kotrick in 2017. Nick has him by about 150 days. Both at 18. Now Schiller. Xavier Savage. Flat-footed starts. Now Levi spots a hole strange. Ethan Strange close to inking a new deal at Canberra, I believe, is now a centenary start. It invites more trouble for Gold Coast. More territory and possession for Canberra. Smithies gives Trey Mooney a run. Back in the NRL for the first time this season, young Trey. Ricky just rewarding him for outstanding reserve grade form. Solo puts it down. Campbell relieved to take the scraps. They're starting to play a little bit of football now, the Canberra Raiders. Made a couple of errors, but all not sticking so far. I'm in a science now for the Titans. They're starting to make plenty of yards 
one. Even Levi had a dummy half. He's having a good first half. This is Bo Furmore carrying the ball. Ribson, Long, Kelly. Straightens into Fogarty. Timoko wraps up the ball along with Atta Mariotta. Big minutes last week for Mariotta after that injury to Jordan Rapana. Grimson couldn't find much go forward out of dummy half. Here's David Fafita. They need a big, or a few big, Viliami kick out type charges from Fafita. Goes four and hoists the end of this set. Down for Stewart, who let it bounce. Didn't contest the ball, it's there for Kelly. He puts it out the back and Schiller picks it up. Yeah, just, Play on. Just on for Fafita, someone's got to bring him onto the ball. We've seen that that he had a good understanding with Kieran Foran last season. If he's just going to run next to the ruck, you might as well not be out there. Give him the sort of charges that he was taking in 2021 when he scored 17 tries across his 22 games three years ago. 17 tries. Trey Mooney. Solo. He's been good, hasn't he? Off the bench, that's what you want from your bench players. Continue the momentum. Six carries for nearly 60 metres now. Off the bench in, in quick time. Pasami Solo. He's Fogarty. It's run and repeat. Out towards Fafita. And it's actually Lofi Khan Pereira. Fafita on the other wing. And another Fafita on the edge. Half-time will be a welcome relief for Gold Coast. They've done so much defending in their own 20. Yeah, it's not only defence, it's where you work the ball off your own line. A lot of one-out running. They started off pretty well shifting the ball early, but fatigue starts to set in. And they can't wait to half-time. Now Randall from inside the 40. He was thinking 40-20, the bounce. Brought it into the equation momentarily, but it's too straight. And now Sheffy Stewart. Well, you said at the start he's not the biggest fullback, and someone told him that. Yeah, no, he's got plenty of ticker, hasn't he? What about that for a run straight in the meat of the Titans? Aaron, down and a few words about Chevy Stewart used by coach, captain, and vice captain this week. Competitive, enthusiastic, a lot of spark in him, high energy. But Ricky said, I just want to calm him down. I need to calm him down for game one. As Hudson Young takes a carry. Now Ethan Strange. Last play, and it's Fogarty picking out Lofi Khan Pereira again. The come down instead for Jaden Campbell, but as soon as he catches the ball, he's surrounded by nothing but green. Did you see how low he took it there? That was a wonderful take there at the back. We put under all sorts of pressure from the kicking game from Fogarty early in this first half. Look at that. On the fingertips, too. Under pressure. And again, we see the poor old Titans just struggling to get behind the ball after that kick. Working the ball in their own half. Got to try and find a couple of passes here. Foran listens. He goes to Brimson, who ducks under some high-ish contact from Trey Mooney. Four and again kicking his own side of halfway. It's a yardage kick again where Stewart is happy to gobble them up. He runs into Mo Fodawaka. Ooh, that was a solid hit too. <laughs> Xavier Savage. A flamboyant one-handed carry momentarily, but that's the sort of player that the X Factor who is Xavier Savage is. He's run for nearly 100 metres here so far. Savage in the first half, playing on the left wing. 105, 14 carries. You what an effort. You pinpointed the run metres of their back five last week. Huge numbers. It was it 845? This time Fogarty kicks and finds the sideline. Look at the Raiders applauding their halfback. 
He gives them a breather and he'll force Gold Coast again to come out of yardage, to come out of their own 20 metre zone. Oh, it's a big, big play too. Didn't go for the big high bomb that time. You can see he changed his kick there. Skids in to make a 40-20 there. And the Raiders still three and a half or three, three minutes 15 to go before half time. Fogarty and Sean Johnson dueling for most kick metres per game at the top of the NRL numbers. What a beauty yesterday. Sean Johnson's Warriors against the Seagulls. Any discussion around that, no doubt, on Sunday night with Matty John straight after this, Stephen? Well, can you believe the two halves and the, the amount of football that they played Johnson and also Cherry Evans? They couldn't kick a field goal. <laughs> Well, they didn't, really get in, didn't really get in great position to do so. <laughs> Sunday night with Matty Johns and a couple of Cowboys as guests coming up at full time in this one. Two and a half left in the opening half. Still plenty of footy remaining at Canberra as Chris Haas and the Titans get a, a set restart. That's their first of the game. The four so far all in Canberra's favour. Four and Campbell. <laughs> points before the break 12-6 would be outstanding for Gold Coast at half time Randall running out of options he's four pass oh. he's crunched great shot Hudson Young out of Mariotta Mariotta's hurt himself too Boren, look at this Jamin Jolliffe goes surging through the big front rower had it put on a platter by Foran, and the Titans go in 12-4. How are they still in this game? Gee, he held the ball up beautifully there, Foran. That's his advantage to have this sort of player in your football side. Joel have hit the ball at pace, but just watch the soft hands. You see Foran look up there, just digs into the line. Beautiful pass. It looked like he was going to go out the back. Hits Joel flat. And the Titans after doing all the defence in the first half, won't be that disappointed. They'll throw this conversion over. Ford looked like he was going to go out the back. Can't come across and make the tackle, Stewart. And there's Jolliffe to score the try. The big number 10 goes over and won't he enjoy that. Storming run. It's his second try of the season after crossing against the Dolphins. From not too far away, Wagga Wagga in the Riverina. Only nine games last year because of a ruptured peck to Jamin. He'll enjoy better luck this season, we hope, and it's 12-6. 12-6 despite having less than 40% of the ball, Stephen. Well, they've hung him well, haven't they? It's a beautiful soft hands for him. Straight at the line. How many times has he done this? Straight on the Jolliffe. They've done an enormous job. 12 points to six. I think we're going to the halftime break. Desi will be so happy with his side. Made a lot of tackles on their goal line. They've been good under the high ball. They're back three. And somehow crawl their way back in. They've shown plenty of ticker in the first half of Gold Coast Titans. Well, they've made more than 200 tackles. The Raiders just over 140. That underlines how much petrol they've, they've burnt through in this first half. Yet they look up and see the scoreboard. There's a converted try in it. As Des Hasler said this week, I'm confident we're not far off. The defensive resolve, especially on their goal line, keeping them in this game. Now Aaron Clark on the charge. Schiller and Young scoring for Canberra. Here's a trick play from David Fafida. Campbell picked it up, and luckily Fogarty's back there to stop him. Fafita running again, needing an offload. Here's AJ Brimson. They won't give up heat chips and chases and sliding onto the ball magnificently to cap his first 40 minutes in the NRL. It's Chevy Stewart. The family and friends stand and applaud. And Casey Badger calls for calm. There's lots of young heads out there. Plenty of adrenaline surging through their bodies. And maybe we're due 
for a half-time break. Everybody can oh, calm down. Well, the big thing is how far is the second half. How good is it? And just not responding to it. Some vocab. Jamin and Cleese are some good ones. So you get more better response, yeah? Thanks. Casey Badger just giving Kieran four and some riding instructions for the second half. Schiller and Young crossing for Canberra. Jolliffe late for the Titans. The final 40 minutes of round six. And it's close, just six points the difference. This man, Jamin Jolliffe, Gold Coast's try scorer in the first half when he stormed onto a ball from Kieran Foran and went over virtually untouched. Now Jojo Fafita. It's his 12th run of the game. Up approaching 100 metres now. Jaden Campbell trying to slip through. Just Jaden's third game of the season after that dislocated kneecap kept him out early. The man you want to see lead Gold Coast forward, David Fafita. Backs his way upfield. Now Aaron Clark. So the first set post half time is a sound one for the Titans. It's the kick from Brimson that is taken by a patient Chevy Stewart. Stayed on the ground, eyes only for the ball, and made sure of the catch. Yeah, there was all sorts of hands on the way down with that ball. I don't know how he took it so well. That's a confident start to the second half from the young fella. Plenty of distractions, weren't there? There's Kelly. Not even going to go to the word disruptor or cynical or drop zone. Play was allowed to continue. We might talk about that on NRL tonight, tomorrow, Stephen. Leading into NRL 360, Brayton Denaster, Paul Kent and the team. Going through all the issues. Monday through Wednesday, 6.30, Fox League. And Disruptor might just get a mention. Here's Fogarty completing Canberra's first sets of the half. Underneath it, Jaden Campbell. He can't really advance play. Gee, that chase has got to be a little bit better from the Raiders. If Fogarty's going to put the ball up that high, he was under no pressure there that time, Campbell. It's only the start of the second half. Here's Hoskins. And That's a, a dominant tackle. A penalty goes to the Titans. And we might go sideline to Eloise Sawyer. What was said at the break, Eloise? Yeah, plenty said from Ricky Stewart at the break, break. He said he wanted them to be patient like they were in the first 20 minutes. He wants it to be mistake free and also to keep the pressure defensively down the middle of the field. As for Des Hasler, well, he was short and he was sharp. Keep in the grind of the game. And just an update on Zach Hosking for the Canberra Raiders. He has been good of his HIAs there in that tackle and he's free to play in the second half. Yeah, trotting back into the defensive line now. Good news for Zach after he missed last weekend's game following those protocols. Here's Clark. <laughs> Playing ring a ring a rosy there with Hudson Young. For it. For Brimson to dummy. And he can't get away from Hosking. Oh, Hosking's picked up an injury here, clutching at an elbow. Eloise will follow Hosking in back plays in the wars tonight, Zach. Shoulder problem quite clearly. Let's hope it's just a, a stinger. Now the offload from Fafita. Brimson. Foran. Foran. Grubbers across the face of goal. Getting through quickly. Jojo Fafita misses the ball, but not the former Raider. Harley Smith Shield scores the try. Well, he's been involved in everything, hasn't he? Foran sets up that try too with the grubber kick. We're going to have a look. Right. Tom off. So we'll be coming into tackle one. We've got a plate out of Canberra. We've just got to confirm if there's a knock-on in the grounding. Well, it looked like Jojo for feeders ball originally. Then it kept on going. And Harley Smith Shields flashed into the frame. And you know what it was? All on the back of an offload there from Fafita. Was able to stand in the tackle. The ball's initially knocked backwards by Canberra. We're playing through. Ah, that's fair enough. That's a good put down. Harley Smith Shields gets a try just before half time. The Titans scored, and they are the first to score in the second half. Makes contact the with the ball. Grounded by the Titans. We have a decision. That's a try. The ball never came away from the hand, and there's the grounding in freeze frame. 
So Harley Smith Shields. I want to go back to the offload from Fafita that set them forward. Second phase play. For him, you can just see him have a look. For Harvey Norman, we'll see the replay. Here's the offload. Standing in the tackle, the ability to offload the footy. Watch Foran here, look up. Looks up, over. Oh, I'm just going to dink the kick in, little grubber kick. Chases on, bad bounce for Savage. And he's right there on the spot. Harley Smith Shields gets the first try of the second half. He's been involved in everything, hasn't he? Foran put on the two tries. And the Titans right in it now. He signals the try scorer, made his debut at the Raiders, 2020. He played 15 games for the Green Machine, but had all of 22 wiped out with a, a knee reconstruction. Did his ACL. And the conversion attempt is dragged across the face. Jaden Campbell will be disappointed with that. Yes. Zach Hosking will be disappointed with this, Steve. Yeah, looks like he might have popped the shoulder, maybe an AC joint or an elbow. And coming straight off. Eloise will find out for us, I'd say. Well, they lost Jordan Rappanut last week to that knee injury. Corey Horsburgh picked up a groin problem. Simi Sasangi didn't make this team, but he's the logical person to come back in in coming weeks if Zach Hosking has an injury of any significance here. And sadly, it does look relatively serious for the edge forward. And they'll be down a man off the bench too. They've got their tails up now, the Gold Coast Titans. Man down. The Raiders, they've got to come back here. They lose a really reliable defender on the side of David Fafita. And the key matchup tonight was Fafita originally listed the start opposite Zach Hosking. Amazing the energy you get when you get yourself back into the game. Score first in the second half. They really should have leveled the scores with that kick. Wasn't that a difficult one, really? I agree. Goes across the face. And Aaron Clark, nice and hard into Pasami Solo. Not that I've ever kicked a goal, but it didn't look that hard to move. I wouldn't point that out, Steve. <laughs> Brimson to Fafita. He goes into Fogarty. There's Atta Mariotta. On as the protector for Fogarty. Jaden Campbell. Eyes for the ball. He roosts this one above Gio Stadium. And then Stewart is taken out, surely. That's a penalty for sure. Contact with the catcher on the ground. See, so they're going to... Let me go through the process. Go I've through no the process. Try. What's the like touchy doing? It can't be anything but, can it, Steve? No, it has to be a penalty. Like going for the football, it gets knocked over. Titans left side kick chase is onside. We'll just track David and feeder. He gets knocked over while making an attempt. It was Lofi Khan Pereira. Alafina jumps and makes contact with Chevy and interferes with his ability to catch the ball. We have a decision. Look, the replay suggests it's more brushing the catcher than making significant contact, but that's enough in the modern game. That's all it needs. Yeah, it's enough, and they just need a little bit of luck too, the Titans, but didn't go their way that time. And that's a let off now again. You can see the energy really lift for the Gold Coast Titans after scoring that first try of the second half. And we're gonna see a response now from the Canberra Raiders. That angle shows it to be a more decent whack than just a, a casual Sunday evening brush. It's a fair call. Penalty count all square. Set restarts 4-1 in favour of Canberra. Basami Solo. Well, Louise, you've got an update on Zach Hosking for us. Yeah, Zach Hosking won't return this evening to tonight's game. Came off with that shoulder, but the trainer did signal collarbone, so something within that region, but he won't return to Fira, a fractured collarbone. The way the arm was protected as they left the field. Let's raise tomorrow to reveal as Levi goes through the Englishman, Fogarty, and now Stewart. <laughs> a 
It's Fogarty high. The kick towards the goalpost. In the air, said Chris. Losing the ball. And a penalty. A penalty to the Raiders. Unnecessary contact on the kicker. So it was the contact on Fogarty. And it was Kelly, too, just chasing hard from Marker. He was chasing that hard. I don't know whether he could pull out of this. Oh, yeah, he could have. It was just a lazy arm over the top. It wasn't really high contact, that. A little bit of gamesmanship. For my teammates, it might have even been a little peck on the cheek there at the end, but he's conceded the penalty, Brian Kelly. And did I signal, did I see Jamal Fogarty signal will take the two? There's the answer. Yes, he is. Yeah, well, just before it, he, I think he was looking over to the sideline, rolling his hands over to say, as if to say, let's keep the roll on. He might have got the message. Take the two. It's a give me. And we need to get this scoreboard ticking over in the second half, all the way from a conversion here. A four-point lead to the Canberra Raiders. Well, Josh Papali'i famously plays a round of golf most game day mornings. I wonder whether he'll be up tomorrow watching the final round of the Masters. It actually starts tonight at 11.30 p.m. with the feature groups. We're watching Cam Davis. We're watching Cam Smith. The Aussies in the top ten. Tiger had a ten over today, Blocker. He played with your clubs. <laughs> ten over. That'd be good for me. <laughs> So he's out of contention, but the Masters always a fantastic Monday morning in Australia as Trey Mooney comes back. Our studio host, Brayton Astor, will be up early as well. He might be up all night. Watching the final round of the Masters. Basami Solo. Hudson Young. They talked the talk during the week, Canberra giving Gold Coast plenty of respect. And they're being forced to adhere to those words because the Titans, they're riding this game, they're fighting hard. Tapani and Papali'i, when do they come back on? There is a difference when they leave the field and it was seized on by the Titans. As Fogarty goes high. Taking the ball at Schiller, back to Mac Timical. Schiller was the only one contesting the kick. Now the second kick from Fogarty. And it sits up. Look how casual. Look how able Jaden Campbell is. Yeah, it was good run too. Back by Campbell. He got that broken defensive line from the Canberra Raiders. The second kick. Always beware of it. Campbell picked it up beautifully. Got him off to a good start in this set. Packed up by Jojo Fafita. Here's Smith Shields. Haas. Good run. Two years younger than his, his Brisbane brother. A great carry of the football. And now he loses the ball in the play. Yeah. Number four. Let's say that again. You're going to challenge it, are they? Where do you want it? Where do you want it from? Aaron Clark looking as if, come on, tell me you need to challenge this. Yeah, no, that's awesome. And they are. Alright, copy. We have a captain challenge from the Titans on the decision of Lost Ball. First challenge of the night, Steve. Yeah, you've got to be pretty sure, haven't you? Especially when you're starting to get a bit on a bit of a roll. Oh, was that Police the places there? the ball Strange. on the foot of the Cameron defender and just loses control. No, the challenge owners, is unsuccessful. The owners there, totally, totally ignorant to it all, was Ethan Strange. So the onus is there for on Cleese Haas. That's a pretty easy one for the bunker. Right here, guys. The really cynical people might be saying, well, Ethan shouldn't be around there, but he's entitled to run his line back to the defensive yeah, position. Gee, it's a momentum killer, isn't it? Making a mistake like that. Right, They're sure just starting to get right back, back into the game, the Titans. And they've had a couple of momentum killers over the last five minutes, Gold Coast. So Levi is bandaged up in back play. Dimmerbolt. He's done a good job on him so far, Kelly, on Dimmerbolt. 
coming into the game. Big tackle buster. I don't think he's broken a tackle yet. Atta Mariotta playing the ball. Morgan Smithies. Part of that Wigan Warriors Premiership campaign last year. Bassani Solo. Tommy Starling about to come on fresh. Hudson Young. You just need a bit of a spark out of dummy half. So the last play now. And it's Fogarty. He'll go end over end. It's Jaden Campbell leaving the ball for a leaping Jojo Fafita. Yeah, nice take. Let's see. Have a look at this set here from the Titans. They try and move that football around a little bit. Had the better of the start of the second half here. We've seen a couple of those floating torpedoes from Jamal Fogarty. And he, he keeps them to a minimum, or has done at least tonight. And they've asked some questions when he's got them away. Elise Sawyer down to you, sideline. Yeah, just an update on Zach Hosking, confirmation from the club. He dislocated his shoulder. They spent time out there on the field, putting it back in. He is now on the sidelines. He's iced up. Obviously, he's not his over. Thank you, Eloise. Let's hope there's nothing too serious in the shoulder joint. Stewart. Caught and dragged backwards. That run taking him up above 150 metres for the game. Now Schiller. Well, they're very much in the wrestle at the moment. Game on the line. The final one in round six. Before we go to... Sunday night with Matty Johns, joined by Tom Dearden and Scotty Drinkwater. Yeah, we're going to put um, Starling on just to speed up the ruck a little bit because Levi is still out there, so they're playing him a lock forward by the look of it. And a set restart here. Timoko, they were too long on the Canberra centre. Starling wide for Tarpany back on there now as well. Here we go. Right down the middle they come. And again, Morgan Smithies. Into Furmore and Randall. Levi, Starling and Fogarty. Well read by AJ Brimson out of Mariotta. Wrapped up on the spot. A pained look on the face of Ricky Stewart as the grubber goes through the line into an upright and all Bo Furmore can do is ground the ball. Yeah, well done there by Furmore. It looked like the ball was going to bounce away from him. Always at you, the Canberra Raiders. Fogarty, well placed there for Hudson Young. I think the kick was for. The ball bounces off the upright. Furmore right there on the spot. So the Titans turn to more defence. A reminder they've been giving up more than... 31 points per game. So 14 so far is a dramatic improvement. Here's the goal line dropout mid-range down to Schiller. And he surrenders, caught in behind one of his own players. The Titans giving up at least 28 in their last nine game straight. I'll give those numbers just to illustrate how good they've been tonight despite so many numbers being in favour of Canberra. And against the form attacking side, probably, or one of the top two form attacking sides in the competition. The Titans on their line, defending grimly. Beryl's tangled up in the play of the ball. Out the back for Strange. <laughs> Can't get away from Furmore or Thorin. What's the trick play here for Canberra? Who's the attacking target? Tarpany, Smithies. Morgan looked like he wasn't expecting the pass. And a set restart for Canberra. Inside the 10, called against Gold Coast. Hudson Young surrenders. Levi on to Fogarty. Now Matty Timoko. Timoko. This is his range to show that strength, that leg drive. Verrills and Randall combined defensively. Smithies to Ethan Strange, who dummies. There's a Raider tangled in front of him, so another surrender. Stay on, 
and Levi, Hudson Young. They're lost a little bit now, Canberra. They're lost a lot now, Canberra. Final play, Levi. Long to Fogarty. He will chip, looking for a James Schiller leap. Instead, it's Brian Kelly in the air. He offloads to Campbell, and Gold Coast survive again. Yeah, gee, not only defensively, he's been good, hasn't he? Kelly at the back there on the left-hand side for the Titans. Come away with a couple of real big plays in this game, and that was one of them. Jojo Fafita. Done so many hard yards, hard metres tonight for Jojo. And this youngster in game number two, Josiah Pahulu. Out there, it's a great work ethic from Josiah. And the kick turns the Raiders around. Stewart, it's one of the few kicks he hasn't fielded on the full. Gee, that was a big play there from Kieran Foran. We'll see how he battles the run now, but kicked the ball down field. He was first down there. Great effort. Trying to... Well, will he side into, into the great defence that they've done so far? A loose ball is picked up. Penalty, Canberra. It's a strip. I think you'll find there was a couple in the tackle. AJ Brimson comes in with a strip. They're trying to ride the boots of Kieran Foran, the experience of Kieran Foran and Xavier Savage under pressure. Says, hey, you can't do that with two in the tackle. And Casey Badger agrees. And look what it meant to the Canberra Raiders forwards there. Get themselves up the other end now. Let's see if they can put something together. Three surrender tackles in the last couple of sets. Not good enough. Who's going to take control here? Here's Papali'i. Closing in on game 300 later this season. Tarpany. Now Morgan Smithies kicks it on. Fogarty. And this is Timoko unable to step away from Brian Kelly. That's uh, Kelly again. One Strong on defender. One. Fogarty calling Adamati Otter onto the ball. And luckily there was support in the tackle. It came from Randall because Mariotta beat the first defender. Fogarty. Strange. Giving it for Tarpany. Tarpany footwork at the line, but no offload. And now Tarpany has lost the ball. What a letdown at the end of the set. On the 20? All up. I'm thinking repeat set or, or points here. Steve, I go back to the tackled in the opposition 20 stat. You'll look at the scoreboard and not be able to believe this at home. 32 tackles to one in the opposition 20. 32-1. Yeah, unbelievable. You know, really good sides will put you away there. They'll tick over the scoreboard. Hasn't been the case. You've got to give a wrap there to the Gold Coast Titans defence. They've shown plenty of, well, plenty of will here this evening. The game not over yet. The Titans came into the game having conceded the most tries from line breaks, 19 of them. Tonight they've conceded just one line break to Canberra. Just illustrating the defensive resolve on show by the Titans that has kept them in the game. Kieran Foran looking for a big finish here. Foran and the Titans in talks for a 17th season for the NRL veteran next year. Well, he's played pretty well tonight. He's put on both their tries. Brimson, Brimson out the other side. AJ Brimson, only one to beat, covering tackle. Stewart gets a piece of him. It's play on. Luffy Khan Pereira locks us up in Canberra. It was AJ Brimson. It was Khan Pereira. And now it's 14 all. Yeah, I reckon they should have a look at this. It might have been a, bit, been a, bit, a little bit of a truck downfield when Brimson took off. They've awarded the try already. Let's just have a look here. Oh, no, that's fair enough. Good footwork there from Brimson. It looked like he, Stewart was going to make a one-on-one -on -one tackle there. Gets the football on the outside. Pereira finishes well. Hudson Young comes across. Didn't have the speed to get there. 
tried his heart out. That's what I'm saying. Papa Lee tried to make the tackle there, and we saw Chris Randall. Wasn't it a destruction? You, yeah, have, a look, you have a look at it. Have a look at the replay and have a look at Randall. Papa Lee couldn't get there. They're having a good look at this. This try not confirmed yet. Right there. Does he stop in the line and, and deny Papa Lee a crack? Yeah, I yeah, think yeah. this might be your answer. It's going to be no try. I'm nominating you, Steve Roach, for the bunker. You picked that very early in Randall. the piece. I've got too many jobs. I've got to be home rearranging my soft draw. The line. And denies a chance for Parley to continue defending. No and the Titans gain an advantage. Have a decision. Nice well played up, but Papa Lee, he, well done. He milked that beautifully. Way too many of your players, mate, yeah. coming up to me on every decision. We're not going to do that on every decision, yeah? I was surprised to see Lofi Khan Pereira dropped by Des yeah. Hasler. She can finish, she can run. Try, Watching it real closely, Thanks. obviously Des knew better, but now his try scoring heroics last year, 20 tries, including six doubles. And Des Hasler, yeah, it's agony for the Titans fans. It's been a long six weeks to start the comp, hasn't it, sir? You do a break, but they can't overlook that. Reckon, reckon Chris Randall heard that fan, Steve? <laughs> I reckon the whole crowd did. Just nothing going their way. It's not only the penalty. They'll be straight away in the attack again. More pressure going to be mounted on, on the Titans. I reckon this next set is going to tell the whole tale of the game here. How's their mental state? They've gone from possibly kicking from the sideline to take the lead to defending their own danger zone right here. Papali'i. The gallant but winless Titans trying desperately to hang on and look at this from Tarpany. Walking his way within five or six metres, Starling. Lucky not to concede the set restart there, Gold Coast. Still 19 minutes to play, but firstly, Gold Coast need to hold on. Fogarty, Fogarty. Beryl's careful with the leg lifts. Two plays left, it's Starling, and now it's Smithies, and now it's Adam Ariotta with the offload back to Smithies. So that's tackle five. It comes to Fogarty. He goes along the ground. Is it weighted right? Yes, it is. Jaden Campbell block. Yeah. Is there a problem here for the Titans fullback? Knee strapped, a limp in his stride. I reckon he'll, he'll stay there. Perfectly weighted kick again. Had to play at the football here, Campbell. Right, stay on. Stay on side. Had a little bit of luck with the short kickoff, with the short restart in the first half. See if they can do it again here, the Titans. You'd scratch him if he was your racehorse, Jaden Campbell, but in the air above them all on great legs. They're both working for James Schiller. What a target in the air he is. Papalini. The crowd wanting Canberra to put this game to bed. There's work to do as Tarpany. Tackle close range, middle of the field. Now Hudson Young with one already, couldn't reach out for a second. Verrills and Campbell over the top along with Furmore. Starling, long, the Fogarty. Now hitting the hole, out of Mariotta! Great tackle, AJ Brimson. Try saver right there. Fogarty, the grubber again, looking for Ethan Strange this time. It's foreign batting it dead. Another goal line dropout. Oh, this is unbelievable here. Gutsy effort here from the Titans. Put under all sorts of pressure. Still 17 minutes to go. Plenty of football left in this game. The Titans hang on again. How good's the footy in 2024? Ricky Stewart against Des Hasler in the coach's box. Young guns in both back lines. Go forward men in the pack as the kick 
He's lost forward. It's ruled off Gold Coast. More Canberra ball. Oh. Yeah, it's come off the Titans here. Pereira was, it was, it got the first touch of the ball by the look of it. Up they go. Well, it's Kelly, is it? There's the knock on. Can they sustain any more pressure? Wow, this has been gutsy from the Titans. I've got to say, but been a little bit crunky the attack from the Raiders. Maybe they're better, a lot better 30 metres out than they are 10. So there's Campbell going off the field. He succumbs to that knee problem. Timokov, last 10 minutes, 70% of the ball with Canberra. Starling trying to spot some tired forwards. Jolla straightens up, helped by Kelly. Now Morgan Smithies. Morgan still hunting his first NRL try. Starling to Strange to Hudson Young. Changing direction and taking the tackle, but not before the offload for Papali'i. Held by the hair, was he momentarily? The feed appeals away now. Got a waker as well. Now Tarpany, Tarpany. With Strange in his pocket looking for the offload. Tackle after tackle from the Titans on their goal line. It's Smithies. Now Fogarty. Here's Chevy Stewart dummying. And no way through again. Randall, Kelly, Beryl's all there. Fogarty puts it in the air. The last two kicks, Grubbers on the line. Xavier Savage dived for the ball. I think it came off, off the fingertips. Last tackle out here, handover. I think he's bounced it there, Savage. Last tackle, handover. That is Herculean from Gold Coast, Steve. Oh, yes, he's got the first grab at it. Knocks the football on, yeah, unbelievable. What about this for a fight if they can get up the other end and score? For a moment, I feared from a Gold Coast perspective, it was off Titans' fingers into Savage. They've ruled the other way. And how many times do you see it when a side's under the pump and then all of a sudden they get the football and go up the other end and score? The Titans will be hoping so. It was AJ Brimson a moment ago, the danger man for Cameron. Backed up by Lofi Khan Pereira. That was denied for obstruction. Beryls. No put away game. He can't get away from Hudson Young. On tackle five, the kick comes here from Ford Stewart. Nailed on landing. A good chase from Canberra. Harley Smith Shields timing it perfectly, and now it's Canberra's turn to come away from their 20 metre line. Yeah, gee, he's been gutsy too, Savage. We mentioned it before, but he's a tough player now. He's had a lot of carries in this game so far. 15 carries for 112 metres, and here he is again, is it? At full time tonight, Canberra are at the quarter way mark. The quarter way mark of their minor premiership campaign. If they hold on, they'll go four and two and be third on the ladder. Another set restart. That's seven one now. Seven one in favour of the Green Machine. How is it still 14 10? Starling. Morgan Smithies catch and pass for Strange on to Chris. Said Chris attracts three defenders. It's eight one. As Fogarty finds Tarpany. Joe Tarpany. That'll take him past 170 run metres, just continuing to go forward after contact. Ethan Strange at the 10 metre line, the grubber. He was looking for Savage. I'll tell you how they've hung into the game. Have a look. Randall, 47 tackles. Jolliffe, 47. Furmore, 42. I mean, they have just worked themselves to a standstill. Cleese Haas, 36. The young forwards in the Titans pack have put their shoulders to the wheel. 
and Jamin Joloff goes for a breather. So some fresh defenders out there as the short goal line dropout falls for Marriotta, the offload. Schiller, this try scoring specialist, this double specialist goes in for the Raiders. Well, I thought they might have had a look at that. It must have obviously come off one of the Titans players, scooped up. Schiller gets his second for the evening. Didn't they need that? The Canberra Raiders, a short line dropout again. The ball tried tap back there from Kelly, but scooped up Mariotta. On that right-hand side, has been unreal, hasn't he, since he's come on. Beautiful footwork. This time, he gets the spoils, scoops up the football. Nice fend there on Fafita. Gets the ball away to Schiller. And finally, the Canberra Raiders have scored. His fourth NRL double, James Schiller. Scored a fantastic double in Melbourne in spectacular fashion to win a game in 2022. Scored a, a double in week one of the finals, that memorable game in Newcastle. Got a double against Cronulla and two tonight. Moriato is, is it scoops the football up here. Again, the tap back. Beautiful pass in the outside. Little flick. That's skill. That was part of the Steve Roach repertoire. You were a ball playing forward. Adam Mariotta there. Little flick offload. Don't underestimate the difficulty of that. But he executes beautifully, as does Jamal Fogarty from the sideline. Flags are up. He used the post. He turns four into six. Surely, and is that enough? Is that enough for Canberra? Surely they haven't got anything left for Titans. Surely. But the Raiders have put him to bed here. The goal line dropout from Kieran Four and gave the Titans every chance to get the ball back, which they craved, giving their starvation in possession tonight. But instead, it's Adam Mariotta. Smart head and then cool hands to provide for his winger. Well, he, knew, he knew he had to get the ball to the winger straight away. He could finish off Schiller. Have they got anything left? Gutsy effort here from the Titans. The better side on the front at the moment, 20 to 10. Here we go. Tomorrow night on NRL tonight from 6 o'clock, Steve Roach, you'll start to reveal your origin lineups in the lead up to game one. Wednesday, June 5, Sydney Olympic Park. Get your seats now. NRL.com forward slash tickets. We're going to focus on the number nines tomorrow night. I wait with bated breath. Origin 1, June 5, Sydney. Starling. This man will hope to be there. Hudson Young. Part of Michael Maguire's broader camp already. As Papa Lee goes on to Fogarty. Chevy Stewart, fantastic to move. A work play towards Schiller again. Play on. He kicks. No. He chases. The angle of the kick is good. And Isaac Liu just escorts it over the dead ball line. See, that was going to be something special, wasn't it? Drop out. Schiller. It looks so messy. I thought there's a knock on here somewhere. But Canberra just kept playing to the whistle. Yeah, the ball's come off. Pereira's feet, but look at that, full motion, ball kicked back in field. They weren't alert that much in the middle here, the Raiders. Schiller cleans it up. So another short goal line dropout. This time it's deep enough, but the first blue of the night from the debutant, Stewart. And that was probably the, enough time that he had to take that ball there, more time than what he's had tonight. That might have been the problem there. Mo Fodda wake up. The Titans needing a miracle to score their first win of the season. It's Isaac Liu for four and long. That was asking to be intercepted. And in the end, Smith Shields did really well. He took the tackle with one leg on the ground as Xavier Savage closed in. Yeah, I reckon Savage thought about that too. He just pulled up in the last second. Thought about the intercept. Four and trying to spark something here for the Titans. Play on. Oh, oh, the Titans on next week to play Manly. 
Foran's former club as he kicks high, chases hard, the swat back for Furmore. He passes. Timoko comes up quickly, ball away. Kelly, Kelly, he kicks. It's a grubber and Papali, he can't dive on the loose ball. Instead, Hudson Young can. And the whistle will bring them all back. Oh, Schiller again looked like he was away. There's going to be a foot race. Hudson Young got him the ball, ball quickly. The same as the knock backwards. Your it's got to come from your captain. Too late. Countless is over. No, he's our captain. Oh, he didn't come here yet. No, no, he did come to me first, Sam. All right. So Casey just told that, yeah, right, Taps copy. is the captain, Joe Tarpany. Yeah, the captain's challenge from Canberra on the decision of double knock on. First off, Canberra. Papali, he was back there for the Canberra Raiders. Does he pull the ball towards him? In I trying to take I possession, knock on. Josh Papali knocks the ball forward. Yeah, it's a knock on. And is then also knocked on by the Titans. The challenge is unsuccessful. So Papali tried to pull the ball back towards him and knocks the football on. Okay, we're up here. We're going to be well, the Raiders were originally told your challenge is over, the time two challenges over, but then it was pointed out that no, Joe Tarpet is our captain and he challenged within the legal time. Casey realised that and therefore they were allowed to challenge incorrectly, Stephen. We'll tick off on all of that. So Gold Coast, six and a half minutes left, good position here. Well, if they can score in this set, they'll give themselves a hope. Let's see if they throw caution to the wind here. Trying to set up the grandstand finish. There is still plenty of time for Gold Coast. And a penalty now. Do you want the penalty or the scrum? Do you want the penalty or the scrum? Scrum? So offside at the scrum. And they elect not to reset the scrum. They elect to tap and go instead. Aaron Clark. Beryl's behind Fodawaka for it. Brings, brings him into play. He has to surrender, fearing he was in behind Bo Furmore. Clark to Fodawaka. Where are the points coming from, Gold Coast? Where's Fafita? Left hand side. Now they go to right. The Foran to Furmore and waiting for him. Ethan Strange. Good legs tackle. Aided by Seb Chris. Oh, hard off the chest of Mo Fodawaka. He wasn't expecting the ball. And it breaks down for Des Hasler's men. Well, you feel for him there, don't you? Look at Desi trying to shade the face there. Beryl's trying to hit the front man. Oh, let's go, guys. Don't miss the clock. Fodawaka thinks they're going to go out the back for a shift. Got a little glimpse in there, Steve, of why Ethan Strange is part of this NRL team. That tackle shutting down the Gold Coast Titan on the move. It was Bo Furmore. He did that in the preseason against the Cowboys. He's impressed Ricky with his resilience defensively. He's kept Kyo Weeks out of the lineup as a result. And as Canberra come away from their 20 through Matt Timoko, sideline to you, Eloise Sawyer. Yeah, just as the Titans gave up that chance there, Jaden Campbell is iced on that left knee. It's the same knee that was troubling him from last week. He had to pass a fitness test to play this evening, and he's now been ruled out for the remainder of the game with that same left knee causing issues. He'll go for scans. And we'll see what happens to him over the next month as the Titans move on to Manly. Then a trip to New Zealand for the Warriors, then Melbourne, then North Queensland. I suppose when you're at the bottom of the ladder, every game looks tough and every game is tough in the NRL, but that run to me, Steve, looks particularly difficult. Still, they'll take some confidence out of this, especially if they score here, and they do! Luffy Khan Pereira! They just can't be killed off tonight. Gold Coast are still alive. Yeah, all from an error there, as we saw the Raiders trying to take the ball off their own line. The kick in behind. Now where's the fullback here? Caught out of position. Straight away, Pereira with a great bounce. And Kelly again involved in the play. Gee, he's had some sort of game. He arrives a little bit too late there. Chevy Stewart might have been caught up in the line. And that's great play from Kelly. They are not done with yet, the Titans. The man in jumper, 22. 
Goes over for the try. His second for the season. That's and with four minutes to play, are the Titans capable of channeling what the Warriors did late yesterday against Manly? Well, they'll give it their all, won't they? I mean, I just like their energy after they've scored points here this evening. Important, important kick, this one. Tanner Boyd has been kicking. The first kick of the night is replaced Brian Kelly with his first NRL kick for goal misses. But it's still a converted try, the difference. It was Jaden Campbell, but he's off. So they had to go to a man who's never had an NRL shot for goal before. Look at Lofi Khan Pereira again. He's a mover. He's got speed, isn't he? Just got caught flat-footed at the Campbell Raiders defence there. Nothing you could really do about that. Just a perfectly timed kick. Beautifully weighted. The bounce was perfect. And Pereira gives him some sort of hope. Three minutes and 40 seconds to go. Then we're straight into Sunday night with Matty Johns. The Titans will back themselves. At 0-4, trailing by six, nothing to lose in these last three and a half minutes. And what a gain it would be if they could force Golden Point, snatch a victory. The Canberra crowd trying to get their men home late on a Sunday night. Four into the line, here's Brinson. And Smith Shields has to go to ground. That sideline was looming large. Harley took the safe option, the wise option, and Isaac Liu goes through the middle. Tapani and Papali'i were waiting. Clark, Brimson, now Fafita winds up. Good contact, Mariotta, but the offload goes to Brimson. He goes high. Out of Canberra defuse this. Xavier Savage, well done. Jojo Fafita. And Sam Verrill shutting down on his 20-metre line. Well, their last good try they scored was from a Fafita offload. And we saw Kieran Foran kick across field. But Savage defused that bomb that time. Just trying to wind down the clock. There's still a set left here for each side. Timokov. That's four tackles used. Inside the final two minutes as Tarpany just looks for go forward and provides plenty again. He gets to halfway. He puts Fogarty on the front foot and he gets it off the side of the foot. Out towards the sideline where Schiller knocks it on. The feeder can pick up. And Gold Coast start this set in pretty good position. Yeah, they're trying to put him on the ground, slow it down. For feet up, caught in the tackle, needs to get himself involved here. Minute 25 left, here we go. That was the zero tackle. For it. Now Brimson. Is AJ the man most likely? Is it Lofi Khan Pereira flashing down the left wing? They head that way now. Aaron Clark runs into Starling and Mariotta. Final minute of the round. Canberra trying to hang on before we go to Sunday night with Matty Johns. Tom Deard and Scott Drinkwater, the guests, no doubt loving this finish as four and the inside ball for Brian Kelly. Great, Great tackle. It's Tom Starling around the legs. Now Beryl's long numbers for the Titans. And it's Luffy Khan Pereira. They'll kick from the sideline to level the game. And Khan Pereira has a double. Oh, that was unbelievable play there. They never say die the Titans in this game of football. The pass over the top was a pearler. Khan Pereira scores the try. How important this kick, if not the last one. Well, they give it to Kelly again. Four and right at the line. Kelly comes in. Look at this for a tackle from the young fella. Just offset him. Starling was there involved too. 
They go wide. The pass straight over the top there. That's from Randall. Cam Pereira dives in the corner. What a game. Khan Pereira scoring in the 76th and 80th minutes. Now, Tanner Boyd, an 80% goal kicker this season, isn't in the team. He played for in the Queensland Cup for Ipswich against Burley. Jaden Campbell was the first choice kicker tonight, but he's off injured. Brian Kelly stepped up a moment ago and missed his shot for goal. That was his first shot for goal in the NRL. How's this for tension? Everyone's on their feet too on the bench. Everyone's up. What about this for suspense to wrap up round six? You're watching it on Fox League. Titans fans around the country with everything crossed, hoping they can go to Golden Point and steal their first win of the season. It's over to you, Brian. Kick number two in your NRL career to get us to Golden Points. It's coming back. It's coming back. It's over the black dots. Brian Kelly kicks us to Golden Points. The Titans box loves it. Dez has last stony face. Oh, what a great kick. What about that for pressure? He's eaten it up. Been one of their best players. Looked like it was going to go to the left of the upright. Just comes out around late. What a kick. He likes it. Loves it. 20 all. Extra time. How good. Brian Kelly in his eighth year of NRL. Game 151. Handed goal kicking duties in the most pressure situation. And he delivers that from the sideline. We go to our third Golden Point game of the season and our second of the weekend. Can you believe it? They were out in their feet. They were gone, the Titans. What do you want to do? Yep, which, yeah, which way? Okay, so Canberra kicking off that way. All right. The amount of defence that they've had to do somehow found something. It was Kelly who made the break straight through the middle. Just got tackled at the end of it by Starling and also Stewart. I'll give you the team's records in Golden Point. The Raiders are 11 wins, 11 losses, one draw. The Titans, seven wins, eight losses, one draw. It's the second time these clubs have been to Golden Point head-to-head. -head. The last time, way back in round four, 2011, when Greg Bird got the Titans home with a field goal in the 82nd minute. G'day to Birdie wherever he's watching. 13 years on, the Raiders and the Titans go back to golden points. And, and Steve, this performance, this performance by the Titans, it, it beggars belief. Yep, they wouldn't have lost any fans here this evening. If you're a rugby league nerd, scan the stats, look at the numbers that the Titans have confronted tonight and ask yourself how it's 20 all. Mo Fodawaka returns the kickoff. Morgan Smith is a bit worse for wear. Here's Isaac Liu. So Matty Johnson, the team in the Clive Churchill studio on standby for Sunday nights. They're standing around the VB bar enjoying this one. Wondering who's going to pinch it. Isaac Liu, foreign, Bo Firma. Plenty of go forward on that play. AJ Brimson, is he carrying Gold Coast into field goal position? All of a sudden, the Raiders look a little weary. Final play, it comes to Kieran Foran, and his option is the bomb. Stewart can't make the catch. It goes backwards for Hudson Young, and Canberra will start their six. He did well to clean up the scraps there, Hudson Young. The bomb, he was under all sorts of pressure. Chevy Stewart bounces off his shoulder. Hudson Young's right there on the spot. The only Canberra Raider to kick a field goal out there tonight is Jamal Fogarty. He's landed three of them. He hits them good too. 
Youngly. just got to get in the field position. Youngly tightened to kick a field goal. Kieran Foran, and this will surprise many, he's only kicked one back in 2018. So there doesn't appear to be a great... And now a mistake, is it? No, play the ball again. Oh. Heart palpitations for Raiders fans as they heard that whistle. <laughs> Papali'i. Look at him go. So last play, they're at halfway. Jamal Fogarty, high. Letting the chasers get through. Savage running hard. Fafita slips. And they'll get him about six metres out from the line. Let's see if they've got the energy in the defensive line here. They've got them right where they want them. Line speed good. It was a slow play of the ball. And they're still inside their 10 on tackle two. That was Smith Shields with the carry. Well, they're still, they're out there, feet in the Titans. That's the third tackle, they're not behind the ball yet. Can Pereira couldn't advance play too far. What about Mo Fodawaka? He takes a good tackle from Papa Leke and Mariotta. That's tackle four. Ferrell's trapped out a dummy half. Passing. Was that passing after the hill call? No. Go back and. Nervous times for everybody is foreign. Works those legs, gets as much oomph as he can. And here comes Stewart. What a game to make it NRL to boo him. Oh, never forget this one, will he? They've won and lost the game a couple of times, haven't they? The Raiders got to try and win it again here. Now Ethan Strange. Yesterday, Warriors... Sea Eagles finished in an NRL draw, a rare NRL draw. Before that, it was round five last year. Sea Eagles against Knights in Mudgee, finishing in a draw. And now Tarpani goes across the field, thinks about the offload a couple of times. Takes the safe option. Bogarty high, really got that one. Again, the chasers will need to be careful. It's said, Chris, it's been taken by Pasani Solo. He hasn't scored an NRL try until this point. He's claiming the try. They'll have to have a look at this one. Bobby, I have no try. But no try by the sound of it. Whether it's come off a Titans player and knocked it on into the shoulder of a Raider, if that's the case, chase it's play on. Let's have a look at it and see who gets first grab at it here. Solo on tender hooks. It's off the no, hand of Sebastian off, Chris. It's off Chris. Good call. As I mentioned earlier, game 55 for Solo. He was close to Seven scoring Chris last week. Touches the ball first and knocks it on into the Titans player. We have a decision. He gets over again here, but illegally. If you're an optimist, you'd say Pasami's closing in on try number one. <laughs> What a time to score if it was awarded a try. Okay, no try hand over here. Oh, go, so a minute away. 16 left in this first period of Golden Point. Tense in both boxes, isn't it? Jolliffe. Canberra can't afford a penalty. Gold Coast needing to avoid an error. But love for someone to gap this Raiders defence and turn the green machine around. Is it David Fafita? Not on this occasion. They haven't stopped chanting Raiders all evening. And this Canberra crowd willing their men home. That's tackle four. Jolliffe. Over halfway, middle of the ground. Last play now. It would need to be a big kick, and Kieran Foran will test that knee. He leaves it short and a little wide of the mark, and it is going to finish in the end goal. Stewart diving for safety and getting there. No thought for self-preservation. He could have run the ball over the dead ball line and got to the, the break in golden point. But he careers back at them. And make sure Canberra keep possession. What a great kick. He had to play it at the end. 
Tumako just asking for a high tackle. There's the half-time siren now in extra time. I'll turn around and go at it again. It'll be Sunday late night with Matty Johns. As soon as we're done after Golden Point, the team's standing by because Kieran Foran and the Titans are refusing to give up. What are you feeling, Steve? What are you, what are you thinking? It, it just seems like the sort of game where if you hang in for as long as the Titans have, it almost seems like their destiny yeah, to win this it's one. It's just all sort of field position, isn't it? I, I just I just think Tarpany and also Papa Lee can lay that line close to the close to the goal line. Here's the goal kick that got it at 20 all after the try. Look at that. Perfect. It was a thing of beauty. That's his first goal in his eight-year NRL playing career. Well, I think I'll be giving him another kick. He missed his first one a few minutes earlier. He drills the second after full time from the sideline for a winless team to force Golden Point away from home against a team that's firing on all cylinders. We can't have two sides over the weekend get one point, or four sides get one point each, can we? The Fox Sports Lab working overtime to try and find the last time, if ever, we had two draws in the same on the same weekend since the introduction of Golden Point. There's steam coming out of the lab. It's bubbling over. They're pedalling hard. <laughs> Crunching the numbers, and here comes your man Tarpany, or one of them. Papali'i, the other one. Solo. Any error could be oh so costly. They came to Canberra craving their first win. They don't want to settle for just one point. They've had 58% of the football, the Canberra Raiders. It's huge. Morgan Smithies showing us his engine again tonight. Now Seb Chris. Fogarty finishes the set, opting for a deep kick again. They're taking the safe option and making Gold Coast work for every metre. They don't want to put four in front of the sticks. Now Brimson feeding on the offload. AJ gets away from one, two, still going Brimson. That's four position. Into the backfield he goes. The backpedalling Raiders with an eye on David for Fita. He gets to the 20 metre line. Here we go. Is now the moment for Gold Coast. Foran waits to the left of the ruck. It's Kelly within 10. Over to you, Kieran Foran. Or is there another candidate? The 16 year veteran in the NRL is charged down. Gold Coast get the ball back. Knock on Gold Coast, the ruling. Well, can you believe that? What about the chase? It's like they put the, the whistle in their pocket. Great chase on Foran. There's a young fullback that got there. Chevy Stewart will charge that footy down. What about that for a play from a young fella? And Kieran's only field goal didn't actually come in a game where the field goal was, was relevant. They beat... North Queensland, the Bulldogs that day, 27-10. That's Kieran's only career field goal in this long and decorated representative career. The New Zealand International. Here's Timoko. The crowd knows his danger. Ooh, he went with a flick offload that went to ground. It was inviting trouble. These guys are unbelievable, the way that they can find an extra effort. Both sides just playing themselves to a standstill. Ethan Strange. Is it a teenage set of legs to decide this game? Darpany. 
Ooh, Hudson Young loomed. No offload. Fogarty again, runs the ball this time, gets away from Beryl's chip, chase Jamal oh, Fogarty. Oh. AJ Brimson quickly into frame. I'll tell you what, that's a, that's a money up ball that time with the chip over the top. Just have a look at now, you see the Titans near the halfway line. It's the first time Canberra had gone risk versus reward. We'll take, we'll take the risk. AJ Brimson's coming to his own here. David Fafita. They need a couple of thundering runs from their number 11. Two plays left. They're 38 out. Here's Fodawaka. Foran flat to the right. Kieran Foran gets this but doesn't get enough of it. It bounces in the in goal. A minute to play. He almost had too much time to set himself. The chase wasn't that good. They're on Foran. He's put on a couple of tries here this evening. Couldn't get his team home there. Here's Ethan Strange down the sideline. Chased by Furmore. Strange back in field. Eyes wide open. Where's the support? Go to the middle here. Hudson Young. Hudson Young. Here we go. Bringing Jamal Fogarty into it. He kicked a field goal last weekend, Jamal. Here in the first half against the Eels. He won a game for the Raiders in Wagga Wagga with a field goal. Is this number four of his career? He's kicked it! Jamal Fogarty, you giant! He burns his former club in the most agonising fashion and invites this Canberra crowd to go berserk. Yeah, what about the run there from Ethan Strange, a young fella. The game on the line. Decides to run up the sideline there, makes the break. And then they get in the position. Look at this, he nearly kicks it to Melbourne. He hits it that good. Look at that. What a kick. Field goal number four for Canberra Raiders, number seven, to give Canberra Raider number 396, Chevy Stewart, victory on debut. We seem set for the first round with two draws since 2001. But in the dying seconds, Jamal Fogarty, winning so much applause for his wonderful kicking game, delivers the blow that sinks, that cruelly sinks, the gallant Gold Coast Titans.